Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be coming at you with another video and just like the title suggests, it's gonna be 21 stylish cardigan outfits that you can wear anytime, any place. Let's get into it. So before I actually get into it, I do want to let you know that if you are somebody that does not wear cardigans and you prefer to wear um, jackets or you prefer to wear plaid shirts and the same as uh, my tank tops that I typically wear, if you prefer to wear t-shirts over tanks, that's perfectly fine. Um, this is mainly for you guys understanding that the color schemes that I'm using here to create the outfits that I do is something that you can also use and style up in your own personal wardrobe. So, um, but with that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, the first that we have here is a nice classic red, white, and blue. Uh, and just like you would see this in a Tommy Hilfiger um, style, you would see it in Polar Ralph Lauren clothes, you're seeing it here. And I think that if you wanna go for that nice classic Mr. Uh, USA look, or Mrs. USA look, I guess if there are girls watching this, um, that's something that you can definitely go for. So I love this look, and it's probably one of my favorite outfits uh, again, that's a three-piece combo that I love to wear. All right, next up you have orange with blue and a nice tan color. Um, and this is also something that I thought looked really, really nice. Uh, again, like I said, you can style it. You can change it out um, with the jacket uh, if you don't want the cardigan, or you can change that with a plaid shirt. Um, and even though orange really isn't a color that I typically go for for me personally, uh, I do think it the colors work and flow together very, very nicely and make for... Um, a wonderful outfit that you can wear just when you're going out. It's funny, whenever I look at this, I always think of spring or sometime in the summer. Uh, so if you are somebody that likes to wear bright colors and you want to, um, I guess, show off your spring spirit or your, or your summer style, uh, this is something that you can definitely go for. Uh, I wear it every once in a while uh, and I'll, the colors just, again, they, they, they work and I don't know. To me, when I look at it, I think of somebody that's friendly. So if that's something that you want to go for, again, have at it. So this one right here, I don't know how well you can tell on the screen, uh, is like a coral color. So it's like a dull orange. It's almost like a salmon type color. Uh, and I thought it pairs very, very well with a nice black cardigan with um, you know, a nice uh, shade of blue, almost looks like a slate color. And I do think this is this is good for you know somebody that maybe wants to stick with their neutrals but wants to uh, throw in a little bit of uh, color as well. I find that finding sand cardigans is actually a little harder than I initially thought that it was, but putting that aside, uh, this is also another look that you can go for if you are into wearing the ripped uh, and distressed jean look. I'm actually not really so much into that look, but if it's done artfully and it's like put together really well, the thing about it is, I'm really big on color coordination, and part of the reason for why I styled myself the way that I did here is because like the jean rips, if you just look at them, um, match the color of the tank top and the color of the cardigan that I'm actually wearing. So uh, I think it works. I think it looks really, really good, and yeah, it's very, very stylish. Although this isn't my favorite outfit to wear, you know, from the pin on the cardigan to the pants, that matches, the tank top matches, the little green pin that I'm wearing on the cardigan, you might not be able to see it so clearly. And then of course, um, my blue cardigan matches my blue glasses. So I'm really, really big on, car on um, color uh, correlation. I'm really big on that. So if you are somebody that's very similar to I am, um, this is again, something that you can uh, try and see for yourself whether you like or not. Now this one I love. Uh, <laughs> which is kind of funny because I actually don't wear it that often probably because my pants are so um, thin that it's and they don't really have very much stretch of them that it's kind of a pain to actually put on but putting that aside I do really love this um, outfit and this is like it's almost a different version of the classic red white and blue but you know with without the white you have more of a tan looking color or an ivory I guess you can say and um, a darker red and then of course the blue is more like a it's it's more like a, a slate type color but anyway i absolutely love this one and you guys should definitely try this one for yourself and see how much you like it 
So here I decided to go with something that's light on the bottom, but also light on the top, but not quite the same color like in my previous video. And then style it with a, a neutral black and see how that looks. And understand that part of the reason for why some of these really flow together is because I do have pins on my cardigans. This is something that I add and I'll probably make another whole video about how you can actually add little things or little accessories, I guess you can say, um, onto your clothes to make your clothes pop out a little bit more and to add more, just a little bit more personality to what it is that you're actually wearing. Um, so I decided to go with this. I think this is really nice. And, um, you know, from time to time, I'll, I'll get compliments on this outfit as well. A nice burnt orange goes pretty well with a dark blue. Uh, and again, this is with another neutral, only not black. We're gonna go with a little more of a charcoal color or a charcoal look this time. And I think, um, you know, it, this is this is less flowery, I guess. Um, and if you, you know, it, it, it just looks a little, it, had, it, it exudes a little bit more of a masculine look, I guess. I don't know if that's the right word that I'm probably using to describe it. But again, it's, it is something that I do I uh, wanna share with you guys because I think it looks really, really good. And it's definitely, definitely suitable for fall and winter weather. Again, right here we have another variation of that classic red, white, and blue. But of course, instead of the white, we have more of a gray silver look and um, we have a more crimson red um, than we do a vivid. And then of course, a nice dull, but somewhat vivid blue. Uh, and I think that it's just a color that, that works, honestly. Um, and this is an outfit that I definitely, definitely wear quite often and you should try it too. Now I know this outfit looks like a previous one that I showed. However, you'll notice that the pants are a little different, uh, along with the pin that's on my cardigan. However, um, it is very, very similar. And this is also another look that works and understand that when you are trying these, um, these outfits out, uh, you can swap them out for something that looks very similar, but not quite the same. If you're not particularly experienced or savvy with the color wheel. These are colors that I can tell you that I've tried. I'm actually not either. And for me, it's really just trial and error, trial and error, trial and error until I find out something that actually goes very well together. Here we have more of a dull olive green on the uh, top. And then in, in terms of the cardigan, it's very, very similar. It's more of a tan, I would say. Uh, and then of course we have our nice dark navy blue that's a little washed out um, at the knees. So. I would say here that uh, <clears throat> if you want to go for a top that matches fairly closely to the um, cardigan that you're wearing or the jacket or the plaid shirt that you're wearing or that you're going with, um, this is a nice example of what you can do with that and how it would actually look for you. I don't know what it is about salmon and navy blue, but I just think that both of those colors go really, really well together. Here I swapped out the pants a little bit. So you can see the difference uh, in comparison to the other two images that I showed you before. But I do think that it is something that absolutely works and works um, pretty fluidly. So this one is a little bit different. Now, even though I have a lot of um, outfits that obviously have blue pants in them, I do recommend getting many different shades of blue because it honestly can change the way that your whole outfit actually looks. And I'll probably get into that more um, a little bit later. But anyway, looking at the actual photo, um, we see that I'm wearing a nice um, grass green tank top with uh, a brown, a light brown uh, cardigan along with some pins on it. And again, this is another one that I think uh, works very, very well and that I recommend that you actually go ahead and try on your own. And if you're not able to find these clothes in um, shopping malls, you know, again, go ahead and try them online. I'm actually a prolific online shopper and I think that you can find a lot of different things and there's many places where if, if something doesn't work for you after you've tried it, you can go ahead and you can return it. But this is something that I decided to go for and I thought it actually worked very, very well. Now this one's a little bit more feminine. I will go ahead and just say that off the bat. However, uh, if you'll notice, this is also following that same color scheme of red, white, and blue. Of course, instead of using red, I substituted it for something that was more pink or I guess, yeah, more like a watermelon type color. So. Um, you know, I didn't think it came out all that bad. Um, I might actually change up maybe the, the tank top and maybe wear something that's like more cream or, or, or yellow, but 
you know, who knows? Again, this is something that you can again go ahead and try and see if you like for yourself. If you're somebody who prefers to stick with more neutral colors and you don't really want to add too much color, you can avoid what it is that I put in the middle here, which was the salmon color, and you can go for something that's, again, uh, that's more dull and that matches um, the cardigan that I'm actually wearing here. Uh, and you'll probably get that, um, that neutral look that you might be uh, wanting to go for. I don't think these colors look bad together. I do have pins that, of course, always match what it is that I'm wearing, like usual. However, um, it's something that I wanted to try. It is, it is something that I do wear mm, from time to time. Uh, but I think, again, the color um, flow here works pretty, pretty nicely. So tan looks really, really well with a nice shade of blue, so long as it's the right shade of blue. And I think that if you're using a light tan like what it is that you see here, um, using a light blue uh, probably works um, best uh, because it just kind of balances each other out in terms of the actual color spectrum. So um, that's what I decided to go with here. It is nice, it's nice and casual, and it's very stylish and um, it just works and I think you can really wear this at any time in any place. Okay, so this photo is obviously a very model-esque type photo, but putting that aside, um, you know, this, this is something that you can't really go wrong with and also these colors are very, very easy to find and replicate uh, to put into your own wardrobe, so that's what I decided to go with here. And as you can see the results for yourself, I think it looks really, really nice and I would definitely go for something like this again. But now you guys are probably thinking that I have like some kind of a love fest with the color coral. That's actually not the case. However, I do think that guys should go ahead and step out of their boundaries. I get kind of tired of seeing such plain colors in men's clothing stores all the time. I mean, I, I, that, I mean that's great, I guess. And men do look good in that. But um, step out of your comfort zone. Add in a little bit of color. It makes you pop. It makes you stand out. And... Quite frankly, the ladies are going to notice. I don't even really remember how long it took me to actually get this particular outfit, um, but I absolutely love the tan with the red and the blue. I I, I just, I, I think it flows very nicely like some of my other ones that I've shown you. Well, honestly, like a lot of the ones that I've shown you before, but um, yeah, it's it just, it just works. It really works. And if you are uh, more fair skinned or you have um, more melanin in your skin tone, this is definitely something that I recommend that you go out and you buy for yourself. Green typically is not a color that I actually wear too often. However, um, you know, again, this is something that I went ahead and experimented with and it was like, uh, should I do it? Should I not do it? Um, and surprisingly enough, it actually turned out to be um, an outfit that I liked. So again, this is another one that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys. And, um, you know, you can judge for yourself as to whether or not this is something that works for you or if it's something that you decide that you're going to pass on. All right, so there you have it. Those are my 21 cardigan styled outfits that you can go ahead and you can try for yourself. Hopefully there was something there that you liked. And, you know, let me know in the comments below. Was there something that you really liked? Was there something that you liked the least? Um, and why? And if there's a color combo that, you, um, that you've tried and that you think works really, really well that I didn't actually uh, showcase here, also let me know. I'd love to reach out. Uh, and talk to you guys about that. I'm always constantly upping uh, and leveling up my own style. Uh, and I hope that you guys do the same. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.